good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for trading session the uh, Monday. I not say Monday, it's Friday. Friday the 19th of May 2017, bringing you a morning market review. Okay, uh, please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of Asian markets overnight, you have the Nikkei bouncing. Uh, the Shanghai more or less flat, the Hang Seng certainly bouncing as well. In terms of European markets at present, you have a, uh, a reversal on hand. Uh, the FTSE certainly reversed overnight on the back of a weaker sterling, but sterling certainly has recaptured the 1.3 level again. Uh, sterling certainly had a flash crash down 130, 140 pips at one point before it recovered back from that 1.29, now back up above 1.3. Uh, European markets as well, certainly bouncing. DAX up 30, CAC up for, for 30 as well. The FTSE MIB stellar rally there, 160 point rally. Uh, and that certainly is led by the uh, reversal in US markets and uh, certainly a stabilization at 23.50 after we close the gap on the SP 500. Okay, in terms of economic data this morning, let's just quickly go through this. European trade balance, a current account, certainly coming in stronger than expected, uh, although uh, German inflation actually stronger than expected, so bear that in mind. Again, the hawkish stance continues, and a stronger euro, as we all know, is, is bearish for the equity market. UK CBI uh, industrial trend survey coming in stronger than expected uh, as well. Okay, Mr. Draghi's speech, uh, certainly a, a no-show, although the EC minute, ECB minutes did indicate a dovish stance, but the euro certainly has paid no attention to that at all. The euro USD is certainly rallying on the back of, obviously, uh, Mr. Comey and Trump. Concerns leading to a weaker dollar and obviously talk about impeachments, etc, etc. Okay, so really from my perspective, the theme is that the Euro GBP is above 1.3, which is risk negative for FTSE. And the Euro USD is, uh, is currently above uh, that 1.1 level, now touching 1.160 at that pivot high. Let's just bring up the Euro chart for you. You can see here, the Euro certainly at that pivot high, 60 minute chart, touching that double top now. Okay, certainly causing havoc and uh, is uh, certainly bearish for the... Uh, the European equities, okay. In terms of GBP USD, certainly a sell off, as you can see here, flash crash down to 1.2890 before we recover the whole move, which is very interesting. I mean, why would we crash and then obviously reverse it? Certainly is very, very strange. GBP USD, as a, in terms of a currency to trade, okay. Now, and let's look at the actual technical picture now. The German DAX, let's go to the daily chart at present. You're currently you're bouncing off that. Uh, Previous resistance equals support, obviously hold, hold, close the gap, put in a bottoming tail on the, on the German DAX, and now we're reversing. Uh, again, a stronger euro certainly isn't going to help, okay, is considered risk negative, so just bear that in mind in terms of the euro. 60-minute uh, chart, the German DAX certainly bounced from previous resistance equals support. Previous support equals resistance now at that 1.2660 level, we've hit a pivot higher 1.2650, and therefore one would expect a reversal. Using your Fibonacci retracement tool here, taking it from the pivot high to the pivot low, we're into that Fib 50%. So certainly exercise caution here from my perspective and certainly looking for a bearish bias. 12650 certainly has held as a resistance. Now we still have the unfilled gap left below at 1.2590. Again, that certainly comes into play as well. So just bear that in mind. We also have this diagonal trend line as well that was certainly expected to be coming into play. Coincides with that uh, support level. The French CAC, let's see exactly where we are in terms of French CAC. Certainly an impressive thrust higher thus far. Just connecting to lo the, the lows, really. Okay. Uh, you have a gap as well. So any reversal certainly will be capped there. You had a horizontal resistance, 10 minute. That certainly has been respected. Okay. So still higher highs and higher lows. But any move is certainly um, restricted. Bear that in mind. It's certainly under pressure. And certainly will be subjugated uh, okay so the 10 minute chart just linking this together so you're in that bullish channel any retracement really you will find support around the 5290 zone so uh, certainly bear that in mind okay 60 minute chart again on the French cap using your Fibonacci retracement tool from the pivot high to the pivot low you're into that Fib 61% so therefore you're looking for risk aversion looking for the French cap to reverse and start to uh, to move lower it has been an impressive move though a move from 5240 all the way up to uh, 5330, 100 point move. Very, very impressive. In terms of FTSE 100, you are now coming into resistance. You have this key diagonal trend line as well. Just bear that in mind. Let me just draw this again. Taking this pivot high, taking it to the next pivot high. So horizontal resistance here in the FTSE. 
Looking for a reversal on the FTSE down to gap fill at 7430. Also support at 7440. You have some support around the 7460 level. That certainly seems to be underpinning and helping this market. Once we crack that, you're down to 7445. And that's the level that I would like to see on the FTSE 100. Bear in mind, you do have an unfilled gap at 7505. And we take that into consideration as well. But certainly looking for a move lower. 60 minute chart, you're certainly into that Fib 61% resistance now. Okay, on the FTSE 100 after breaking that bullish channel. Okay, bias certainly remains negative here. Okay, you're looking for a retracement after the uh, 70 or 80 point rally that we've witnessed. Okay, daily chart at the moment, you're still you have an inside bar on the daily chart. We're certainly holding previous resistance equal support, but that certainly won't last long. Especially with the um, with the actual um, uh, the FTSE above that uh, previous resistance equals support. Okay, right. I think that's a good summation. Now, also with regards to euro stocks, let's just quickly bring that up for you. Euro stocks again, a retracement, looking for a sell off here now. Okay, so into that fifty to fifty percent. So again, into sell off territory. Ten minute chart certainly seems exhausted. It certainly found resistance at three five eighty seven, and now looking to reverse. Okay. Okay, that remains a theme then. Bias certainly remains bearish at this current juncture, unless we get some other economic data that will or news flow that will confirm. Mr. Trump concerns certainly way, okay, and a uh, stronger euro, stronger sterling certainly will hurt exports. On that note, please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers, and certainly take advantage of the bonus with CFDs.com. Goodbye now.